Hey guys, Butler Bulldog Bill here, and I decided today that I was going to do a different type of video. Um, this video is of a hat collection that I have, uh, you know, collected throughout the years. I have a bunch of sports hats, different sports teams. Most of them are collegiate teams, some of them are professional teams, most of the professional teams are teams that I'm fans of, so that's why I have those hats. The other hats are, you know, the collegiate hats, these teams aren't all teams that I root for and I don't wear these hats very often, but I thought they were cool and they're all part of my collection. So I, I guess we all have weird collections and mine's collecting uh, sports caps. So. Uh, anyway, I was just going to show you these. Um, a lot of these I have collected um, in a couple of different places. For one, our county fair, there's this guy, I don't know if he's from Jamaica or Trinidad or what, but he comes uh, every year to our fair and he sets up a booth, has a bunch of cool sports hats and uh, a few of those are from him. Um, some are from, you know, different sports places, sports fanatics I think in the Greenwood Park Mall here in Indiana. I think I got uh, hats from them. And also, there's this really cool place down in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Um, STC Sports is what it's called. Um, it's there on uh, 7, uh, I think it's 716 Parkway, 720 Parkway, uh, somewhere in between there. Um, and there's a guy there who's a huge Auburn Tigers fan for whatever reason, but uh, he owns the place. Um, there's just a crap load of hats all over the place and a lot of my hats came from his store. Um, if you're on the parkway there in uh, Gatlinburg, it's hard to miss. Um, he's got a bunch of Tennessee stuff all up in the windows of the place. Uh, basically, you go into the entrance and you walk up these set of stairs and along the way on the staircase you see all kinds of um, sports memorabilia. And you go up and then you walk over like where there, there's like a walkway underneath like you know, this area that you're walking into. I don't know how to explain it very well. I'm not good with words, I guess. But you go in there and you see him his, him all set up in there, you know, at the register, and there's sports stuff here and there's sports stuff there. Basically, it's like that, and then it goes back in there. There's, it's just a lot of sports stuff, not just hats, but T-shirts and all kinds of other things. But, uh, but if you're ever in Gatlinburg, you need to stop in at his place. He's got some good, good sports memorabilia. Uh, but anyway, I just want to show you some of my hats that I've collected. Um, first of all, Kansas State Wildcats. Now, um, this is one I think I got from um, the Bartholomew County Fair here in Indiana. Um, I don't know why, but in this look, in this video, it looks a little more uh, blue than it's supposed than it's supposed to. It's kind of it's supposed to be purple tent, but, um, uh, whatever. But, yeah, Kansas State Wildcats was this one. It's a, uh, stretch fit, one fit, whatever they're called. I don't wear those stupid types of hats because it squeezes the heck out of my big fat head. So, Kansas State Wildcats. We've got Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Now, this is one I got from that STC Sports down in Gatlinburg. You see the Yellow Jacket logo. Um, I've worn this one a few times just because it looked cool. We've got another one from uh, I'm trying to remember where this one came from. Miami of Ohio Red Hawks. Another one fit hat. Uh, I think I got this in uh, the, the county fair as well. Got the Ole Miss Rebels. Uh, another one from the county fair I believe. West Virginia Mountaineers. I don't remember where I got that one. I'm thinking it may be STC Sports, but I'm not sure. Here's one for Hoosier List, the Indiana Hoosiers. And uh, this is an older hat. Before they started going back to the cream and crimson, they wore a lot of red and white for a while. Um, back in the Bob Knight days of the 90s and uh, the early 2000s with Mike Davis as the coach. so. You can see a little bit of black. The logo's a little um, 3D because of the black shading rather than the 2D logo that they use now. But yeah, the Indiana Hoosiers. Virginia Tech Hokies. Um, pretty simple hat. This was one I got down in STC Sports down in Gatlinburg. So we've got 
Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles. This was this came from the fair. Um, I got this one because I'm a huge Brett Favre fan, and he played college football down at Southern Miss. So there's that one. Cincinnati Bearcats. Pretty simple hat. My dad got this one for me, and I don't know where he found it, but yeah, whatever. Texas A&M Aggies. Uh, I believe this was the county fair. Yep, county fair hat. So, Louisville Cardinals. This was down at STC Sports in Gatlinburg. Yep, casual gamer Reed probably likes this one a lot, along with my IU hat. Iowa Hawkeyes. There's one I got down at STC Sports down in Gatlinburg. Moorhead State Eagles. This one was from the county fair. Georgia Bulldogs. Big Vol Daddy probably enjoys this hat. This was, I think I got this one from the county fair. Uh, Baylor Bears. This is a county fair hat. This is green. It looks kind of darker in my camera for whatever reason. Uh, Gonzaga Bulldogs got this one from the NCAA Hall of Champions up in Indianapolis actually. Texas Tech Red Raiders got this one up at Sports Fanatics in the Greenwood Park Mall. Um, when Bob Knight became the coach of the Texas Tech Red Raiders I went out and got this one as fast as I could. thought it was pretty cool. Big Vol Daddy will really like this one. Tennessee Volunteers. Um, got this one down at STC Sports down in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, here's a professional one. Seattle, Seattle Seahawks. When I was in eighth grade, when the Seahawks uh, first, you know, switched their colors to the colors that they have now, I thought their jerseys were so cool. So uh, my uncle's family got me a Seahawks jersey and then got me to have to match it. So just because I thought they looked so cool. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Big fan of the St. Louis Cardinals. That's my team, World Series champions from 2011. Dale Earnhardt and Dale Earnhardt Jr. hat. This is the one, the Junior's last race in the number three car for the Nationwide Series. They made this hat, so it's got his dad's signature and his signature there on the side. Wrangler hat, so got that down in Tennessee, but it was from a guy, uh, an Indian guy. Uh, selling them in some weird store down there. Pittsburgh Penguins hockey hat. Huge Pittsburgh Penguins fan. Uh, got this one in the Sports Fanatics Mall, or Sports Fanatics in the Greenwood Park Mall. Green Bay Packers hat. Huge Packers fan. Thanks to Brett Favre starting off there. So there's that. Butler Bulldogs hat. I'm sure you remember this one. I wore this one when I first started my videos. And of course, my current Butler Bulldogs hat that I got off the Butler Bulldogs website. So, anyway, so that's the hat collection. And um, just because Big Vol Daddy's been a huge supporter of mine here recently, I'll end the video wearing this Tennessee Vols hat. You guys have a good one. Big Vol Daddy, I hope you enjoyed this.